Hi everyone. In this video, we will see the multimeter concept. So, by this lecture, meter concepts will be over. Uh, in the next video onwards, you will see signal generators. So, till now we have seen ammeters, voltmeters, ohmmeters, and in the voltmeters, there are two types of voltmeters we have seen DC voltmeters and AC voltmeters. What is the difference in DC voltmeter? Directly we can measure using the meter, but in the case of AC voltmeter, we have to convert the AC to DC. That means rectifiers like diodes we have used there. Now, this multimeter is used to measure all these parameters. Till now we have seen all these individually, ohmmeter, ammeter and voltmeter, we have seen individually the meters. But now in the multimeter, all these together we will see. See, this is the circuit diagram for multimeter. The circuit looks somewhat complex, but if you understand how the connections made, then this is very easy. If you observe thoroughly what is what in the entire multimeter circuit diagram, then you can easily analyze what is what and so that you can easily draw, redraw the separated diagrams for multimeter, for ohmmeter, voltmeter, ammeter cases. See on the left hand side you have, uh, see on this left hand side you have a voltage range 250 volts, 100 volts, 50 volts, 10 volts. As voltage range is there definitely it is a voltmeter, definitely it is coming under voltmeter. But what type of voltmeter it is, is it a DC voltmeter or AC voltmeter, see here it is clearly written it is a DC voltage range. Here all the voltages 250, 100, 50 and 10 all these are DC voltages. Okay and coming to this to uh, right hand side let us go to the voltage only. Right hand side 1000 volts is given 500, 250, 50 and 10 volts is given. It is also a part of voltmeter but uh, what type of voltmeter it is it is AC voltage, so it is nothing but AC voltmeter. In the AC voltmeter, what is the another important element along with the re multiplier resistor? Rectifier. See whether the diode is there or not. See the output of this one, voltage divided network is given through this line, through this 18.9 kilo ohms, and then it is given to the rectifier elements. So this is a one diode, this is another diode. Okay, so this is the overall circuit. And uh, here it is common point, common point meter negative terminal. Another terminal of the meter is connected to common point. This is the common point. This is the common point. This common point will appear in all the all the circuits, whether it is ammeter or voltmeter or ohmmeter, for all the circuits, this common point will come. Okay. So how many we have seen? AC voltmeter section we have seen, DC voltmeter section we have seen. See another one microampere range is there 200 microamperes so if you take this 200 microampere along with this path and then meter and this common section and this common section common section consists of the uh, i will tell you the path here see common section consists of 326 kilo ohms 638 kilo ohms 1540 ohms 53 ohms 2.2 ohms and then this common point Okay. This is the common section for all the circuits and if you have taken this common section along with 200 micro amperes then this is a micro ammeter section, micro ammeter section. Okay. So first we have seen AC voltmeter, second we have seen DC voltmeter, third we have seen micro ammeter case. Okay, fourth we will see milliammeter, normal ammeter case, milliammeter. See, this common is common there, and next 250 milliamperes and 10 milliamperes along with this common path. This is for milliammeter section. And fifth one is ohmmeter. Ohmmeter. In the ohmmeter, battery supply should be there. Is there any battery in the circuit diagram? See. 3 volts battery is there, 3 volts battery is there, for this 3 volts battery, 
see one mega ohm resistor range is there 10 kilo ohm resistor range is there so if you take this section one mega ohm 10 kilo ohms and this battery supply and thereby potentiometer and this common path then that comes under ohm meter so these are the five different meters that are available in this multi meter section okay so let us redraw these individually micrometer section so this micrometer section i told you already 250 micro amperes 250 micro amperes along with this common point so what the common point consists of these are the resistors what i have said earlier 2.2 ohms 53 ohms 1540 ohms 638 326 along with this meter okay if you observe all the circuit all the circuits uh, separated circuits all these are having this common path 326 638 and this common meter okay and coming to this dc ammeter section what are the different ammeter ranges we have see 10 milliamperes 250 milliamperes and this common section so if you want to keep this micrometer range you can keep otherwise you can avoid this micrometer microampere section okay so this uh, 400 ohms this 400 ohm section you can keep this or you can eliminate it okay no problem as he, that's why here the heading is dc ammeter section dc ammeter section means all these together will come if it is a milliammeter you can avoid this 400 ohms and 250 microamperes if you avoid these two then it, sim it is simply a milliammeter section if you add this one then it comes under ammeter section hope you understand the difference and the next one is a dc voltmeter section of this multimeter see common point is same what we have discussed common meter is 326 mic ohms 638 and 1540 53 ohms and 2.2 .2 ohms along this common path this is common section so dc voltmeter means we have to take dc voltages in the starting it is clearly said that dc voltage ranges are given from 1050 250 to 1000 volts as yes, the voltage ranges this is nothing but voltage divider network what is the name of this one voltage divider network voltage divider network so the range here it is you can measure from 10 volts to 1000 volts minimum of 10 volts to maximum of 1000 volts range we can measure the dc case okay left hand side we have dc right hand side we have ac <laughs> in the multimeter section okay so if you take all these together then it is nothing but simply it acts as dc voltmeter section coming to ac voltmeter section ac so definitely the name tells that we need to convert we need to use a rectifier element so rectifier is nothing but diode rectifier is nothing but diode see where the diode is there or not diode is there two diodes are there if negative supply comes from the output then uh, comes from the input that negative will be grounded through this common if any negative voltage occurred here that negative makes this diode on so that it will be grounded like this suppose if it is positive here then that positive voltage makes this diode on and this meter will work okay now common path is same 2.2 53 1540 638 and this uh, 326 on meter these are common additionally diodes will come and at this junction we have a resistive path from the voltage divider network here all these voltages must be ac voltages ac voltages what are the ranges here also we can measure 10 to 1000 volts we can measure from minimum to 10 to 1000 volts like in the dc case we have here 10 to 1000 okay this is AC voltmeter section. Coming to the last section, ohm meter section of the multimeter. Ohm meter section. So ohm meter section means the battery supply should be there. And wherever we have the ohms instead of uh, amperes and voltages, wherever we have ohms, that part we have to consider. See. So here it is 1 mega ohm, 10 kilo ohms we have taken, a battery of 2, 3 volts is also taken. In the case of ohm meters, we have a potentiometer to get a zero adjustment. Okay, the main purpose of this potentiometer is 
to get zero adjustable zero adjustable resistor zero adjustable resistor what do you mean by zero adjustable resistor when resistance unknown measure of unknown resistance is zero then we need to adjust this potentiometer to get a zero deflection in this metal to get a zero deflection in this metal so that's why we have to use a potentiometer always in the ohm meter case okay and this is the common point what we have taken the common path is same so a meter a meter 326 ohms, 638, 1540, 53, 2.2 ohms, and this common point. This is common point. All these are common in all the circuits. And additionally, we have this 9.2 kilo ohms potentiometer. 9.2 kilo ohms potentiometer, and this 3 volts battery, and this switch. Okay. If you want to use this battery to this 1 or 2 ohms, then battery is connected like this. Otherwise, the battery is connected to 10 coil. That means whether you are selecting 1 mega ohm range or 10 kilo ohms range, that decides this the switch whether it is connected to this one or not. Okay. So, this is the ohm meter section. In this way, a multimeter is going to be designed. So, if you are asked to, in the examination, if you are asked to draw the multimeter and explain, individual sections then you have to draw the entire multimeter section and you have to show what are the individual meters and how to yield individual meter from the multimeter very simple if you know the main multimeter circuit diagram you can easily redraw the sections individually very very simple based on the terms you can easily identify what is voltmeter what is ammeter and what is ohm meter clear so with this matrix concept is over from the next video onwards, you will see the various types of signal generators and uh, their operation and working. Thank you.